Call of Duty is a juggernaut of a franchise. Each year just about top on the sales chart, featuring action-packed single-player campaigns and addictive multiplayer. One of the most beloved entries in the series, and my personal favourite, is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Hi there, and welcome to Platinum Journey, where I document the highs and lows of getting a Platinum Trophy in some brilliant games. Ah, long time viewers will notice the different background, that's because I'm currently travelling for an extended period of time and the regular poster was just too big to come with me. Uh, but the show must go on. So. Modern Warfare. A leader in the Middle East is killed in broad daylight, and dangerous people are taking power with the chance of nuclear disaster. You play as several soldiers from the British SAS and the American Marines. As I'll be doing this from scratch, 34 bronze, 15 silver, and one gold trophy stand between me and the platinum. Good to see you, mate. Take one of the rifles from the table. Nine bronze are story related and unmissable, two for collecting intel, one for completing the cargo ship mock up in less than 19 seconds, getting through Chernobyl without alerting enemies, killing 20 attack dogs with a knife, and a whole bunch of miscellaneous trophies. 11 silver for beating each mission on veteran difficulty, getting a kill with each type of gun, explosive, and launcher beating the developer's best time on the cargo ship mock-up, 15.1. Oh boy. The only gold trophy is for beating the game on hardened or veteran difficulty. The plan of action is to play through the game on recruit, the easiest difficulty, collecting intel and doing the many miscellaneous trophies. Then reload a couple of levels to clean up the rest of the trophies before attempting veteran difficulty, the true test of this game. A couple of shots and I'm dead. This is going to be a mighty episode, so grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax, and join me on my platinum journey for modern warfare. Ooh, bombastic Call of Duty campaign. We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out of selection. His name's Soap. This is where I'm meant to get my first couple of trophies. Go, go, go! Hit the target! Stellar stuff. Jeez, I'm so bloody slow. What? Oh, Jesus. Sprint to the finish. Pretty good, so. 34? Let's come back to this later. In order to get accustomed to the difficulty, it would be smart to do hardened on my first playthrough, or regular, the least. But I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. <laughs> I don't want to be at this for several weeks. I don't want to be at this for several weeks. So I want to get Recruit done, I want to not worry about being killed all the time and get all the trophies that I need in that playthrough easily. And then, finally, suffer my way through Veteran. Recruit it is. Base plate, this is Hammer 2-4. We have visual on the target. ETA 60 seconds. Copy 2-4. Well, every Modern Warfare fan remembers this scene as the true introduction to the game. Coolest motherfucker around, Captain Price. I blasted my way through the next few missions without any problems, and arrived at the most memorable part of Modern Warfare. Look at this place. 50,000 people used to live in the city. Now it's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. No matter how many years it's been since Modern Warfare, the Chernobyl level always sticks out. Keeping track of what weapons you've used is not easy. <laughs> so I've made a great big list of all the weapons in the game, and as I use them, I kind of, you know, tick them off. Using every weapon in the game, that's going to be like... That's something you got to track yourself throughout the entire game, and you can forget stuff. Trying to figure out what weapon I missed could result in having to replay the entire game again using every weapon and hope I stumble across the one I missed by mission 2, not mission 12. Potentially a lot of wasted hours. 
for this level, there's two things I have to do. Number one, I have to not get spotted. So I have to go through the, through the entire level and not get spotted. And then obviously I have to collect three pieces of intel in this level as well. Follow the captain. Oh, I'm right up his arse. <laughs> Not sure if that registered. Better check to make sure. Last thing I want is one piece of intel missing at the end of the game. All right, it's gone. Good. How the fuck do I... Going back How do you go down ladders? <laughs> I don't know how to go down ladders. This is the cool stuff. It's humbling. Then gone in an instant, all of it, and no one will ever live here again. Wow. Deserted. Forever. Nice move. That's the trophy for not getting spotted. I bid farewell to the finest level of the game and get a taste of a hellacious section in the mission, Heat. Waves upon waves of enemies closing in, blocking my escape, and a timer adds even more tension. That is going to be a nightmare on veteran difficulty. I barely bumble my way through it on recruits. Oh, veteran's going to be so some trouble. Oh, nice! I was looking for that. Only five more weapons to go. Heading into the last few missions, the action-packed campaign kicks up a notch. Jamie, this is crazy. It's a great sense of urgency. Men are charging, nuclear missiles are heading towards the states, even choppers are being shot out of the sky. All hell has broken loose. Yet another timed section. Wonderful. Looking forward to this later. Along the way, I picked up the final piece of intel. Always a good feeling getting collectibles out of the way. One daring set piece later. You are going to be all right, my friend. Whew. That was a bombastic ending to the game. What is a bit concerning is that I didn't get the trophy for using every weapon in the game. After consulting my list, I think I know which weapon I missed. An M16A4. I think. That is a huge relief. I don't actually know what I would have done if that wasn't the last weapon. Because I got everything else crossed out. So <laughs> if the trophy didn't pop for that, I'd have to redo every single weapon. Okay, in terms of trophies, 51%. Right, halfway there. Complete the cargo ship mock-up. Yes, okay, that's what I'm gonna have to do. The first level, I'm gonna have to do that obstacle course. That's veteran, veteran, veteran. Veteran, 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 veteran. Oh, dogs. Kill 20 attack dogs with a knife. I'll do the, the 20 attack dogs first. Ah, there is a bit of a cheat you can do here. So this dog will eventually run around and come back in through here. That counts as a kill. And it does save your progress when you do reload checkpoints. Like for example, if you pick up a piece of intel and you click reload checkpoint, it remembers that. 
Similarly, I've killed two dogs now, and it's going to remember that. So, I'm just going to keep doing this until I have 20 dogs killed with the knife. The less glamorous side of trying to get a platinum. Some of these miscellaneous trophies, I don't feel bad by kind of cheating them. There is a glitch in veteran mode to make the whole thing simple. Uh, but... I'd feel like... That's trophy I would not feel good about cheating. Like this thing, killing dogs, pff, easy, uh, no problem. But to beat veteran is a real challenge. You know, I want to say I beat Call of Duty Modern Warfare on veteran. Same way I can say I speed ran Shovel Knight in 90 minutes. Or I beat Dead Space 2 on hardcore mode. Or I beat God of War on God mode. To say, oh yeah, well, I, you know, I skimmed the whole thing and I just glitched it. And the trophy unlocked, it's the same thing, isn't it? To me, it isn't. So I will be doing veteran legitimately. I'm also recovering from an illness. <laughs> I'm um, very warm right now. My body's certainly still fighting the infection. This is rather uncomfortable. All right, the cargo ship. Don't know how I'm going to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I did this over and over. I'm just not. I think aim down sights is going to be necessary for everything. And over. Go, go, go. And over. Occasionally getting a decent time. Ah, 19. I tried altering my path, finding the right weapon for each room. When you get through the first section, going down the stairs, I tried just hip fire, but it's quicker to aim. Hit the target. Upping the controller sensitivity. As fast as I went, as perfect as my accuracy, I found it difficult to break through 16.8. 16.8! We're often landing in the 17 plus range. And boy is it frustrating. Sprint to the finish. Fuck, where the fuck am I? Oh my god, I don't know, I don't, I don't. In these situations, all you can do is persevere. Fucking Jesus Christ. Final position, go! Spring to the finish! Okay. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. This is <sighs> The targets will be in the exact same place every time. Practice, practice, practice. Rejoice when you break through your previous best. Get in there. Know you're on the right track. 15.1 and eventually come on that was frantic I've been at that two hours never again and there's the trophy good stuff okay all that is left is beating the game on Veteran. I say all as if it's all oh, frivolous or easy. No. Veteran will be far harder than I ever anticipated. The date is September 27th. Okay, strategy for Veteran. Don't think about completing the game, only think about getting to the next checkpoint. Slow and steady. I'm really nervous about this. So I've just done the whole game on recruit, running around like an Egypt. Adjusting to veteran is a steady process. Understanding how quickly I die from being in the open. Learning to use my allies to scout ahead and observe if they get riddled with bullets or not. But by the end of the second mission, I felt like I had a handle on things. Only 16 more missions to go.
Max in trouble. So, get to the barn at the northern end of the village and stop those tanks. Use the javelin in the barn. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> can't go across the fields. Just can't go across the fields. Complete suicide. Perhaps a different route. Through the barn to the right. Bloody hours I was at that. Two hours. You try and you try and try, and then the one that works it seems just blind luck. I've ran out of that barn probably a dozen times, and there's been enemies there. For whatever reason, nothing. Smoke screen probably helped, but even past that, there was nobody. So I, I, I don't know. Luck? I'd say partly luck. Whew. Okay. Heat is finished. Only two more really difficult missions remain. The second to last mission, no fighting in the war room, and the epilogue, Mile High Club. One down, two to go. Nuclear missiles have been launched towards the United States. I must charge to this underground base, get into the silo, and disable them before it is too late. I'm dreading this. I'm so dreading this. Just a complete clusterfuck. Come on lads, fucking push in will he? Do some of the goddamn work. My strategy of going slow and steady, which got me this far in the campaign, has to be thrown out the window. Checkpoints are only awarded if I'm fast enough, otherwise the game deems it impossible to beat the rest of the level in the remaining time. Still no Fucking checkpoint. I'd like one. Shit. Tell me I'm not back to the beginning. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to retrain myself and be aggressive. Borderline suicidal. This section in particular causes nightmares. The direct way forward is blocked, so I must battle through tight corridors on the side. Waiting for me are plenty of enemies, some wielding shotguns and others more than happy to run into a room with reckless abandon and no warning. I don't know if I have the fucking patience for this. I don't know if I have the patience, I really don't. After several hours of agony, enabling hit markers and increasing brightness, I cleared the hallways and not so patiently waited for the silo doors to open. Come on, fucking open, Jesus. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. However, no checkpoints. 
If I don't beat the rest of the mission in two minutes, I'll have to do that section all over again. All right, two minutes, two minutes. Shit. Be aggressive, God, be aggressive. Go, 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 go. Team three in position at the southeast side of the launch control room. Come on. Oh, I don't want to be stupid. Damn it! Why isn't it ready yet? Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! <sighs> Hallelujah. I'll never have to do that fucking hallway again. Trying it and dying and trying it and dying and finishing it, but not enough time. Trying it and dying and trying it and dying. Warheads have been confirmed destroyed in flight. We got a ton of debris, but most of it's landing in the ocean. I should be ecstatic, but this isn't even the end. There's there's more of the single player, and then there's my the high club. <laughs> Where to begin describing this bullshit? Similar to the previous level, but condensed. Instead of nine minutes, one. And almost the same number of enemies, but packed into a much smaller space. This is going to require an awful lot of trial and error. Okay, so I gotta kill that guy for sure. Ah, this fuck. I'm gonna be at this a while. Minutes turned into hours. Hours turned into days. Fuck this level. Like, <laughs> seriously, this is just so much chaos. Even days turned into weeks. I've lost count of amount of retries, and I don't even know if I'm getting better. Sometimes I die at the first guy, two thirds of the time I don't even get past the first room, and then when I get to the second floor it's just sort of like, what do I do now? I have no experience up here. I don't think I can do this. I, I don't have the reflexes. Okay. I've been trying to platinum modern warfare for a while now and at a certain point you just got to move on. So one more day. Yeah. Yeah, one more day. One more day and then then I'm done. No platinum. And that's the journey. Down in Section 1 Alpha. Hostile 
I did it. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. Ever an occasion called for some beer. That was what was in the fridge. All the Guinness from the weekend is long gone. Although Coors Light has never tasted as good. Okay, <laughs> the trophies. And yes, it is half two in the day, okay? I don't care, I'm drinking beer. When I finish this one, I'm gonna drink about nine more. Cause I've been at this for a long time. Okay, that says 20th of November. That's the trophy for beating the first level. 20th of September. So two months to the day since I started. That's how long I've been working on this. Well, the first playthrough was not exactly work. Veteran. Most certainly was. Okay. So this is all my first playthrough. So my first playthrough took me five days. Fair enough. It was, it was a blast. It was so much fun. And uh, then all the other stuff. When did I start Veteran? This is the real thing. 27th of September I started Veteran. And I didn't finish it until the 20th of November. 27th, 27th. So you can see I made good progress. Up until around here. 28th, then a couple of days to finish those three. And then... That's the second. And then it was 10 days to beat No Fighting in the War Room. 10 days, Jesus, and that was over a month ago, fuck me, no way. So that's beating the game the 12th of October, and that was the 20th of November. And the only thing I was missing was beating Mile High Club. Like, I meant it when I said, one more day and then to hell with it. To hell with it. <laughs> I'm done. Like. The end of today, it was half two. By five o'clock, I was saying, well, I'm done with it. You know, I gotta move on. <laughs> oh. All right, um, thanks for joining me. This has been very trying and stressful and wonderful in parts and terrible and annoying and frustrating, but I did it. How sweet it is. Cheers. Mm -hmm.